explosions and things. And can we recreate the same thing, but like on a budget? Okay. Well, take a look at this. Yes, in this badly represented wartime video, it's clear to see that special effects have a role to play. What the devil? Even if they are a bit tacky. Bloody hell! So we need some kind of propulsion and some dirt. Well, yes. But how about car airbags? Okay. Can we use them to create the propulsion and make some sort of container, some dirt in it, and see what happens? Do a small scale test first, see if it works, and then take it from there. Let's do it. Mm. Do it. Do it for science. So, with the selection of airbags. Airbags. and a safety screen in place it's time to assemble for a small scale workshop test testing of bare airbag in workshop firing in three two one that was a fog on it Indeed it was, and on the high speed it shows exactly how powerful it is. Doing a backflip that a gymnast would be proud of, it inspires some positive words from TJ. And that's the thing that hits you in the face. <laughs> So now it's time to do a small scale test of the actual explosion. They're going to need an airbag, an ignition source, a container and then some form of debris to sit on top of it. So while TJ prepares a container for the test, Fraser is busy admiring his new look. So what are the ingredients to a good explosion? Shock absorption. Science! Charcoal dust. Get a realistic effect of debris. If it'll boom. Right, let's do this. So, with the stage set, something tells us this might be a little bit big for a small workshop. So, small scale test of airbag in bucket. Firing in three. Two, one. <laughs> Indeed, that was bigger than expected. And at 250 frames a second, it was clear that the table acted like a big spring, launching everything into the air. And at a thousand frames a second, well, it just went into orbit, leaving a trail of destruction behind it. It's even put a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Oops. So now it's time to ramp things up on a larger scale test. To do this testing, we've come here to my workshop in the Lake District. Well, actually, no you've come to a field outside the workshop, mainly because it might be a bit safer. Uh, apparently. Okay. <laughs> For big scale testing, we're gonna need a bigger bucket. Well, now I've got a bigger bucket, so this will have to do. It's very patriotic. As well as the Great British Box, they're going to need something else to help them out. Get out of your chance. Get out. Time to bring on Kenneth. To do this test properly, we're going to use a crash test dummy. But it needs to be dressed first. And it's time for possibly the worst Adam Savage impression ever. Right, and what we have here is, is a perp. He's only playing dead. There's a bomb about to go off. 
The stage is set for an entertaining wartime explosion. The testing of airbag in bucket, large scale, with dummy. Firing in three, two, one. Right, hey, well, it, it went off, didn't it? They're not quite as um, dramatic. There wasn't as much stuff as I thought there'd be coming off it, but it was a good test. Yes, the only thing that really came off it was a flying bag. But then TJ comes up with a plan. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we just have a bit of fun and just launch him? Launch the crash test dummy? What, yeah. just sat, sat on an airbag or something? On top of an airbag. It's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I think we should do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Now the script's gone completely out the window and now they're just going to test airbags on the dummy. Airbag number four. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass. Probably more for the dummy than anyone else. Move the scissors just in case it goes off. It's all in the name of science. To see whether he actually Survives. Bend at the knee. This is testing of our lovely dummy. Sat on an airbag. Next to a height gauge. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> yes, he didn't actually go very high, and also the high-speed camera didn't get any footage. I think we need to do one more test, don't we? Yep. And let's get some high speed of it. Airbag number five. Hang on a minute, haven't we heard that somewhere before? Airbag number five. Ah! A little bit of Monica in my life. And airbags number six and seven have joined the party as well. <laughs> Let's do this. Little baby. Boom. And it's back out to try again. This should be good. This is three airbags underneath our crash dummy. Through a fella. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> that was quite entertaining, wasn't it? Indeed it was. And at a thousand frames a second, it was clear his body took most of the impact before reaching about 13 feet doing an absolutely lovely somersault and then making his way all the way back down again for a very graceful landing. And on the second high speed it was clear just how high he actually got. But he didn't get away lightly. Wait a minute, where's his body gone? <laughs> <laughs> his body's... He's, he's lost weight. He's, he's thinner. A decent height as well. I think he did. He's dead. Definitely dead. Where did his hat and his other camera go? So, now it's time to ramp things up a stage further. With a bit of engineering and a large hammer, out comes a new piece of kit with an appropriate name. The tosser. The tosser. Mm, that's that thing, not him. We're glad you cleared that up. Look! A lovely bicycle for you to ride. 
Right, you're looking forward to this fella. It's time to do some science. Oh, hang on, where's his at? So, with the stage set for a final attempt, it finally dawns on them what they're actually doing. We're stood looking at that. Do we get a feeling of <laughs> what the hell are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, most people watching this are probably thinking the same. It's Kenneth's actual last stand this time, on the tosser, with many airbags underneath him, firing in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> well indeed and on the high speed it was clear that again his body took most of the impact before nicely disappearing out of shot and on the second high speed it's clear that what he actually lacked in height he definitely made up for in style which has definitely tickled something with those two <laughs> Should we go check out the rubbish? Oh, he's definitely dead. <laughs> he's definitely dead. I really can't find his hat. <laughs> we've, we've blown a hole in his bottom. Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, high five. Oh, hang on, we can't. High elbows. So, after a lot of... Plenty of... <laughs> <laughs> and an alarming amount of... Hang on, where's his hat? I really can't find his hat. Where did his hat and his other camera go? Hey! They still had some airbags left to play with. After a hard day's work. So, we think it's time for a grand finale. Cue the music. Two, two, We started off, didn't we, with the the can that yeah. we wanted to to make an upward projection. Which worked, it didn't really have the same sort of effect as what we want, and then we got slightly sidetracked and decided to just uh, destroy the dummy. But <laughs> when you have 17 airbags available to play with, you might as well use them. However, um, he did not survive, did he? No, he's no. missing his chin and nose. And few <laughs> stickers went off. So um, if you were going to do this and sit on an airbag, people do sit on airbags a lot on the internet. Don't. It's a very bad idea. Well, anyway. Pull. Oh. <laughs> 